If you tell me that Samara Weaving is going to be starring in your brand new horror movie, then yes, count me in. I will be there first day, and that's what we're doing today with Asriel. What's going on, buddy? Welcome back to a brand new movie review. Today, we're going to be discussing Asriel, and this is a movie that I've been pretty interested in, mainly for the fact that it's Samara Weaving starring in here. It's also from the writer of Your Next and The Guest, which is Simon Barrett, highly big fan of his writing, and also a good friend of the channel. According to Seth, if you haven't checked out his channel, go check out his. This, from what I understand, is his favorite movie of the year. He saw it back at South by Southwest. He's been hyping it up ever since, so I had to tune in and check this out. And after watching it, Asriel is the real deal. It's a really solid horror movie and one that gets under your skin. But ever since it just takes off into its survival skill, it never holds up. It feels like every 10 minutes, there's a new thing being thrown at our main character that just keeps you on edge and keeps you entertained. Now, this movie is not going to be for everybody. And we're going to talk about that more in my mixed and con aspects of the movie. But what I will say is that if you're looking for just a smashing, bloody, gory survival story, this is definitely going to be up your tea because this is about a world where no one speaks and a devout female-led community hunts down a young woman who has escaped imprisonment. Recaptured, Asriel is due to be sacrificed to an ancient evil in the wilderness but fights for her own survival. And like I said, this does star Samara Weaving who is just phenomenal in every single thing she does. She got her start, at least for me, with Ready or Not. And ever since then, I've been like, I don't care what you do. I just want to see you in more things. Before we start actually getting into my pros, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button as well. Are you excited for this movie? Are you not? Let me know down below. And jumping off and kicking into this, let's talk about Samara Weaving. I said I was a major fan of her from the start, and she is stellar in this. The fact that she is not able to speak, no one speaks in this movie for the most part, she is giving off a lot of energy and able to perform in such a way that actually makes you understand every single sensibility of what she is feeling. And I think having Samara Weaving as your main protagonist in here is actually one of the strongest choices that a director, a casting director, and anyone involved with the making of this movie that selected her for this film showcases. Because Samara Weaving is one of those interesting actors that no matter what she is doing, you are able to understand what she is feeling just from her eyes. And I've always said that eyes is like one of the biggest acting things that an actor can do. That you can shout, you can be as loud as possible, you can read off your dialogue as perfect as possible and have an accent or whatever. But when it comes down to your eyes, that is like a main central thing. And the fact that she has to act mostly with that. And you see how distraught she is, how dis in distress she could be. Or again, how she just feels for this visceral anger that her soul brings. And I think with knowing the definition of what Asriel means, look it up for if you don't know, but knowing that definition, even though her character is just named that, it really ties into the entire post-apocalyptic theme and the survival aspect of this character. And I think without her, I don't know how this movie would have honestly come out. Yes, it still would have been entertaining, but I don't know if it would have been as believable because of any other actress coming into this part. And mainly because of Samara Weaving, I think this film delivers exactly what needs to be happening here. Never for a second did I not believe what was going on here with this. A lot of ways she outshines every other performance in here. Not saying that every other performance in here is not bad. They're good, and again, pretty surface level for the most part, but for me, you could understand every single thing that Samara Weaving was just feeling in this, and I loved it. Alongside this, I also want to give a shout out to the director, E.L. Katz, who I've never seen anything personally that they've done prior to this. But for me, what I was really impressed with was, again, that dynamic of changing up the pace and always giving us something a little bit different. And a lot of that can come from Simon Barrett's script, which I was always fascinated with and intrigued with from the start. Survival stories are usually not my cup of tea, and that was actually something that did surprise me. I didn't know this was a survival story going into this, and about midway through, it clicked to me, and I was like, Oh, th this is one of those survival movies that takes place usually in just genuinely almost one open location. And for the most part, it works. And I'm actually liking this. If you've seen previous reviews from me, you know that this typically is not my cup of tea when it comes down to certain things. And I'm happy to be able to sit here and say, yeah, 
I enjoyed this. I think again, that does stem not just from the performance, but also from the writing and directing. And what E.L. Katz is able to do here is really every, again, every 10 to 20 minutes, something is changing and something is being added to the situation that makes you either more intrigued to everything going on or in general entertained and thrilled by what is happening. And Simon Barrett crafted such a atmospheric tone and world within his script that is just doubled down from a great direction as as well as great cinematography and a great score. These eerie aspects add to a world that again starts off as your typical post-apocalyptic world where yeah no one can talk no one can speak a lot of people are acting weird and then instantly jumps into the supernatural aspect and throws that into there to where you are even more intrigued. Talk a little bit about this my issues and my cons about exp explanation things like that when you just look at it from what you were going through this is the type of movie that would inspire filmmakers to say I think I can do that maybe not as well but I can craft something like that and it's kind of one of those good movies to study if you're into or want to start filmmaking because as I was watching this it took me back to the days of certain scripts that I had written that I would want to have gotten made and being able to see that and being like oh okay so like Sometimes you don't just need something deep diving and explaining everything. You just live and thrive in this world and that's okay. Usually that would bug me in a movie. Honestly, usually. Sometimes that would bug me where not everything's explained and like I want more answers to this and I'm a big person on mythology and world building and I would have loved that but that's not what this film was setting out to be. This movie is going out there to be a thrilling and entertaining time with blood and gore and trust me, it is gnarly at times. It is Awesome. I love the supernatural thread in here and even the design and look and how this thing acts is just great that every time it shows up, you are on the edge of your seat. Even these people who are going after her and trying to capture her, you're again always on your seat. And it really rem reminded me of, if you know The Last of Us, it reminded me of the Sephirites from there. And then that, that was fantastic. I like that eerie tone where you don't know who these people are, or who you are following, and just trying to understand every single aspect of it. And I kind of feel for the ending of this when the film ended by the ending when it d displayed what occurred. I sat there and it made me raise a couple other questions and thoughts of everything that I had just watched. And truly enough, what actually happened for me was like the nail in the coffin that made me go yeah i really dug this movie like i had liked it but that ending just solidified wow that was really interesting i feel like when an ending can just shift your tone from being like yeah i like that movie to oh this is really something special I feel like that is the tone and the honor of a great movie. I'd say it's one of the best movies of the year, but I can definitely say it is one that is worth your time. But I do want to talk about my issues and my cons because there's one thing that kind of did get in the way and one thing I do want to mention, and I kind of already hinted at it, which is the explanation. This is not a film that's going to thought provoke you, but it is one that's going to make you rethink everything you had already watched by the ending. But it's not going to give you a definitive ending. It's not going to dive into the mythology and the world building of what had occurred here. It's more up to your interpretation and your knowledge and little cues inside the film for you to decide what's going on there. And that's not going to be for everybody. Some people want to be spoon fed. Some people want to just be handed exactly what is in front of them. It's completely okay to feel because I don't disagree. I sometimes do like that and sometimes do like to dive into that, but it's not going to be for everybody as well as the film is weird at times. Like it, I mean, the first 10 minutes you have these people like chanting and huffing and puffing and grunting and you know, it, it's weird. But for me, I like that stuff. Asriel is the type of movie you watch that just rips with gore, blood, intensity, and even curiosity of how everything is going to pan out. It's one of those movies that inspires some to write that horror script and get it made. What starts as a simple post-apocalyptic survival story just continues to get elevated throughout the entire film as something that is just highly entertaining throwing new situations at almost every single turn and once it gets going it hardly ever stops samara weaving is phenomenal in this her eyes really out acted everything in here that one shot was great and the ending the more and more i sit with it the more i go huh it leaves you with a lot of thought-provoking ideas, at least for me and specifically what I just watched. Maybe it won't work for everybody, but it did exactly for me. So with all said, I'm going to give Azrael a B. Thank you so much again, guys, for watching this. Make sure to leave your thoughts down below. Hit that like, subscribe button, and of course, until next time, stay classy.